this is what I saw. Watch it down. Uh, maybe I will zoom it for you to see. This is this is Biafra. This is Biafra, and uh, maybe people will be asking. Maybe they are saying, "Allah Biafra somewhere." No, if you look up, you see Zamfara. You see Zamfara. <laughs> this video there was Zamfara and Biafra next to each other so you have Zamfara up north and you have Biafara down south and I was intrigued by this info new information because I've seen other ancient maps but there was none with this Zamfara instead there was the Adamawa Empire and I was wondering okay why is this not in the older one they, are they not all old like some are older than others so this one is the real one that is like older than the one that we have been seeing that we see biafra there but we don't see zanfara but we see the adamawa on top so i now did a little bit of research and lo and behold you can find a lot of information about this zanfara, zanfara empire uh, empire or kingdom and and their kings they, had, they even had a queen and the, the capital how they moved the capital and the relics how they are in Sokoto Museum like a lot of information but I, I didn't find anything about Biafra other than the secessionist state that tried to secede out of Nigeria there was no other information I could find about Biafra there was nothing about Biafra kingdom so and I was wondering and what is also interesting for me like something good to notice there is Farah on top and there is Farah below like you have zanfara and you have biafara like what is this fara what does it mean like it's intriguing because this is a very 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 old map and it's trying to is something it's like a revelation so when i read about the adamawa empire i now understood that they conquered the zanfara and took over as part of the usman damfodio emirate of sokoto you know so and I was like, okay, so the Zanfara was there. They were the, the the part of the Hausa land, the people who were there, like the, the city states, like the Zazo, like how you know. So this one now is conquered and taken over by the Adama. So what happened to Biafra? I don't know. How did it get uh, disintegrated we don't know anything we don't have any history of this and i'm so proud of this brother that got this video out i'm going to show you the video now so you can even have an idea of what i'm talking about so for those of you that may be in doubt that he is even in rome so he did a video first of all to show you that he's in rome in front of the vatican city so you can also see this video watch okay. This is the Vatican City. No? Yeah, our outside. Mm. Inside, they say they are not allowed to take pictures or to make videos inside. But just this is the outside premise. Then we met Metisela on the Metisela. Metisela and this group came here, you know, to see Vatican City. And Vatican City is in Rome, and Rome is the capital of Italy. So we're here, you know, to watch things around to see the ancient. Uh, history of Christianity. So we are passing and we saw an old map, old African map, in fact an old world map. So we decided to go closer. Just follow me to see what I saw there. I don't want to say it. Follow me to see what I saw in the ancient map of I think 16 something. This is what it does. This is the entrance to the capella. You know, all these things you are seeing here are an old map of Africa. Old map of the world, so to say. It's an old map of the world. Then I was passing, you know, this is um watch here, down here. Oh, I don't know how I can so let me try to zoom it. If you can see this, this is um it's not really clear, I don't know why, but this is, let's try to see if you can get it well. 
Oh, good. Good. They said this is 1571. He stated this terrestrial globe by J.G. Uh, Blau, 1571 to 1638, uh, was restored thanks to the generosity of generosity of uh, I think uh, California chapter, you know, of the persons of the arts in the Vatican Museum, you know, so. So this is the map. Now, this is Africa. You know, this is Africa. And let us see the country that have been given the world stress. Where they remove it from the map. Okay. Um, the map of Africa is here. I'm looking for Biafra. I'm looking for Biafra. Mm, good, good. Look at it here. See it? This is Biafra in Vatican City. See it? This is Biafra. Maybe for uh, other beginner, you know, now it's clear. So people will be arguing that uh, it's another Biafra. Look at up here, you see Zafara. Up. This will be north. This is Zamfara in the north. This is Niger up. And beside it is Benin Republic. Okay, now, this is Benin Republic. And once again, this is Biafra. This is Biafra. So, the world know more about this. But anyway, this is Vatican City. I want to keep the video short. I even saw it somewhere again. I saw it here. Here. Yeah, I saw it here too. So that let it not be as if it's one map. I saw it here again. If you go down, this is, if you go down a little bit, uh, this is Benny. Is that me here? Look at it here. See it? So as I said earlier, I find it very, very, very intriguing. And is there anything more to all, to this hidden kingdom that nobody wants to talk about? What is really Do you know anything? Is there something that we are supposed to look for that we are not looking for? Because how can something like this be and there is nothing? Like it's erased from memory. Like there is nothing, no information. And if it was before, and not before the secessionist Biafra, or as we have been told, or you know, as we have been taught to read about Biafra, that it was just a state that tried to secede. And keep in mind that even in the United Kingdom, in the BBC headquarters office, there is Biafra imprinted on the ground as a nation. So I'm wondering, did they imprint this nation during the Biafra War? Because Britain was one of the people that did not support Biafra and actually aided Nigeria in the genocide they committed against the Biafra. So the question is, how and what time did they put that imprint of Biafra at that BBC headquarters? So anyways, I find this interesting and I wanted to share with you all to know that it has been before. It is not a new thing. It's not a new concept. And for those of you who think, oh, the evil, we are really, really indigenous to this part. As you can see, like if you look to the western part of this map, you will see that there was nothing like Nigeria, you know. All these things are later, later creation. So which means this one was ancient kingdom that was there for a very long time and it's no more so i think this is our own atlantis we should be on a mission to find out what happened to it and we will see how god will help us going forward thank you so much for watching see you soon.